I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast for the health of it. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. We're going to talk about starting out uh, belly fat. I get this question all the time. Well, Dr. Joe, I got a lot of belly fat. What is it? Well, it could be a lot of different things. Uh, it could be that you're constipated. It could be your bowels are kind of clogged up. It could be that you're estrogen dominant. It could be that you have too much estrogen in your body, and estrogen causes you to lay down fat. And then fat produces estrogen, which causes you to lay down fat. So it could be that you're exposing yourself to estrogen-like compounds that could be found in chemicals around the house, hairsprays, colognes, uh, air fresheners, carpet cleaners. could be meat and dairy products. They're very high in estrogen. And so you're eating that. You're actually causing your body to lay down fat. It could be that your abdominal muscles are so weak that your organs are pushing out. That happens a lot as we get older because the abdominal muscles just aren't as strong as they used to be. Uh, So it could be a lot of different things. So we're going to talk today about ways, bad habits that you have that might be making the belly fat worse. And then some tips what we can do to try to get rid of it. Because if you have belly fat, that's called your greater omentum. It's like an apron that hangs over your abdomen. And that's where this fat is being stored. And that's real dangerous because it could mean that you have fat around your organs. And if you have fat around your organs, your organs can't work properly. So belly fat is a lot more than, hey, I just got a beer gut, look at me, ha, ha, ha. Or gosh, I got a beer gut, I'm embarrassed, go out of the house. It could mean something very serious as far as your health goes. And if you listen to the show before, you kind of know our approach. Our approach is we want to get to the cause of your health care problems and not just treat the symptoms. And so when it comes to anything, belly fat or vision issues or digestive issues or pain, we want to dig as deep as we can to try to fix the cause of your problems. And my doctors are really good at figuring all that out. And that's why I'm proud of every one of them. And that's why if you come to our offices, and I hope you do, you're getting treatment for, for, who, from what I consider the finest doctors in the country. And we go through doctors. We have a lot of people want to work here, medical doctors, chiropractors, nurse practitioners, nurses, and they just don't meet the standards that I've set for our clinics. And I've had some of them get angry with me. Well, you're being ridiculous. No, I'm not. My patients deserve the best. And if I don't think you're the best, I don't think you should work here. So the doctors we have now have all, you know, passed the, the, the standards and uh, been with us for years. And we keep our uh, employees for a long time because we try to pick the best of the best. And so you're in good hands if you come here. All right, back to our topic. I'm sorry, I, 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 I digress. Let's talk about some things that you're doing that are causing you to put on weight and specifically belly fat. One of them is you eat when you're distracted. Now, we're all guilty of this, I assume. I'm guilty of it. Instead of scrolling through your phone when you're having a snack, pay attention to what you're eating. And this is really important. This is actually a journey that we go on because sometimes I'm in a rush. We had a really busy day. I got a radio show. I got a TV show. I got a bunch of patients. So I may just grab something because I'm saying, oh, starting to get a little shaky. And I don't get hungry at first. I start to shake a little bit. And I said, okay, it's time to eat. And I'll just throw something down my gut. And hopefully that solves the problem. Now, one of the problems is that if I throw something down my gut, it's usually something healthy. Most people will go, ooh, I can drive in and get two hamburgers for a dollar and some French fries. And that'll make me feel full. But it doesn't solve the problem of giving your body nourishment. Remember, when you're hungry... You're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. Get that in your mind. So if it's not nutritious, it might make you feel full, but it's not what your body wants. And one of the problems there is your body says, okay, hamburger, okay, french fries, that was tasty, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted some vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, so I'm going to make you hungry again. And one of the reasons when you you eat a lot is because you're eating bad foods. When you eat good foods, many times your appetite goes away. I hear this all the time with our supplements, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. People tell me all the time, Dr. Joe, I'm amazed how much less food I eat when I take the supplements you recommend. Because remember, you're not hungry for food, you're hungry for nutrition. So if you give your body super quality nutrition in a concentrated form, that oftentimes helps curb that appetite. 
So one of the tricks that I tell people right away is we get them on Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Central Source, minimum supplements. We might have B-complex and other things too, but that's the minimum supplements we start you with. And in most cases, people go nuts. They love it because they feel so much better. They eat so much, so much less and they save a ton of money. And that's the other thing too, is people save a ton of money by eating less food if they're eating quality foods. Uh, another thing that happens is when we start getting them on good foods, they have more energy so they're able to move around a lot better. And that's kind of cool too. So we have a 21-day weight loss protocol that we put patients on. Because when you're overweight, it's not your stomach that's the problem, it's your brain. There's a part of your brain called the hypothalamus, and the hypothalamus says, eat. And then your stomach releases a hormone called leptin, and leptin goes into your blood system and goes into the hypothalamus and says, you know what? I have enough food now. You can stop being hungry, hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus says, okay, thank you, Mr. Leptin. I feel good about that. Remind me when you're hungry again, and I'll tell, you know, Joe that he needs to eat again. But one of the issues that we have is that when you're eating a lot of bad food, the bo- you're eating too much volume. So your stomach is sending messages up to the brain saying, hey, with leptin, hey, you got enough food in here, stop. And if you send too much leptin up to the brain, the brain becomes leptin resistant. There's a new word for you, leptin resistant. You've sent so much leptin up into the hypothalamus that the hypothalamus says, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you actually have that much food in your body. It's impossible any human being to do that. So I'm going to ignore these messages from the leptin. And then you keep eating. And we've all done that. Well, I've done it anyway. You eat so much and your stomach hurts, but you keep, want to keep eating. Many times that's a leptin issue, a signaling issue. And so what I find in many cases that the stomach, which is supposed to sit below the f- diaphragm, can push up into the diaphragm. And I know this from personal experience is that when I can't stop eating, my stomach is up against my diaphragm. And I got to grab one of my doctors. I'll say, adjust my stomach. We can actually take the stomach and pull it down away from the diaphragm. And when they do, all of a sudden, within minutes, I'm not hungry anymore. So it might be a physical problem causing a physiological problem with leptin going to the hypothalamus. It could be that you're producing too much leptin. There's the leptin resistance. So eating while distracted can be an issue. That's where I started a few minutes ago. Try to pay attention to your food. And I'm guilty of this. I admit it. I'm not saying I'm not. But the more mindful you are while eating, the less likely you are to overeat. Notice your food. Chew your food. Taste your food. And when you do that, you're going to eat less. And it's really amazing when you actually sit down and taste your food and chew it and go, oh, I really like that. You don't have to keep woofing it in. You'll eat less if you eat slower. Again, it's human nature to eat fast, but just a tip for you there. So if you do eat too fast, remember this. It takes 20 minutes to get the message from your stomach to your brain. Why? Stomach has to release leptin, and leptin has to go into the blood system and go into the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus has to give a feedback loop back into the stomach saying stop eating. So if you eat too fast, 20 minutes later, you'll be full. If you eat slowly, 20 minutes later, you'll be full. And this is one of the big problems we have. We have big meals, like let's say Thanksgiving or Christmas. You sit down all this food at once and you just woof, 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 eat it all in. And then you're, oh, I'm so full. Finally, the message gets to your brain. I'm full. Stop eating. You already went too far in 20 minutes. So here's a tip that I want you to utilize every day. I want you to have a little bit of snack before about 20 minutes before every meal. I say a little bit, a handful of nuts, a couple of carrots, just something 20 minutes before your meal you will be amazed how much less food you eat and that can help with the belly fat. So we're talking about belly fat today. The other thing that I look at is you got to get the bad food out of the house. If you get the bad food out of the house, it's not going to be there. Perfect example. Somebody gave me this amazing Middle Eastern bread and it had sesame seeds on it and it was just spectacular. And I ate it. I didn't feel good afterwards. I felt fat, I felt bloated. It was delicious. Why it was in the house. If it wasn't in the house, I wouldn't have eaten it. So consider getting the bad food out of the house, and I think you'll be very happy with those choices. The other thing I want you to learn about belly fat and losing weight is many times you're not hungry, you're thirsty. There's two parts of the brain. Well, when you're a baby, one part controls hunger, one part controls thirst. That's why babies always want to have a sippy cup. They always want to drink. They can tell the difference between hunger and thirst. As we get older, there's a divide because the hunger and the thirst parts of the brain grow together. 
And so it's not really it's coming together, not a divide. It comes together, and so your brain can't distinguish between hunger and thirst. So here's another tip to get rid of that belly fat. I want you to have a big glass of water before every meal. Wait about five minutes, then eat. Eat slower. If you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, come see us so we can adjust your stomach, pull it down away from the diaphragm. Drink a big glass of water and drink throughout the day too. And that's going to help make you fix the thirst problem, which many times you think is the hunger problem. And then give your body tons of nutrients. And the best supplements I can recommend for weight loss is Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. I did mention we have a 21-day jumpstart program. If you just can't jumpstart this protocol on your own, if you call our office, go to website, drjoe.com. You can type in weight loss plan and it comes up. And what I want you to do then is you can call the office and order. It's relatively inexpensive. And again, it's, it's replacing a lot of your meals. So you, it's kind of a wash. It doesn't really cost you anything because you're buying food anyway. And you're going to eat food, but this is going to be a, a really super high concentration of supplements. And in many cases, it takes 21 days to reset your brain. And then we can get into you eating normally again. Okay. So another thing that can cause us to eat too much is we don't have enough sleep. Adults under 40 who sleep less than five hours a night gain more belly fat if they don't sleep enough. So many times you got to get in there and sleep. Because what happens is if you're not sleeping enough and you're stressed out, you increase a hormone in your body called cortisol. Cortisol is released by the adrenal glands and it causes you to lay down fat. That's why it's hard to lose weight when you're stressed. Whether it's chemical stress, physical stress, emotional stress, if you're stressed out, you're going to have a real tough time trying to lose weight. And so we got to lower that cortisol. And so one of the things we can do is try to get more sleep. If you don't know how to sleep, go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in the word sleep. And I'm, if you can't find the show, let me know. I'll send a copy of it to you. And listen to the show we did on sleep. And we teach the techniques that you need to get the right amount of sleep. And it might be that your temperature in the room isn't right. It might be that um, you're, you're in pain. I have patients come in all day, every day. And again, I've been practice coming up on 38 years now. Patients come in all the time in pain. Obviously, we're a chiropractic and pain clinic. So one of the things we see is pain. Num number two thing we see is digestion. And then nutritional issues, weight loss issues, and a myriad of other problems. Uh, we have doctors, when they come to study under us, they're blown away. They're like, oh my gosh, you see cancer patients and you see people with traumatic brain injuries and you see people with numbness and erectile dysfunction and digestive issues and irritable bowel syndrome. And the average pain clinic wouldn't see cases like that. But because of our reputation and the work that we've done and had thousands, tens of thousands of people we've helped over the years, we get a lot of cool cases like that. And I like those cases because we get to really pull our brain and really work on these cases to get to the cause. So anyway, if you're in pain, you may not be able to sleep. So if you're in pain, chiropractic is the most effective, least expensive treatment for most back pain. I am blown away every day because I've been in practice and I still see patients. I still see new patients. I'll do consults and I, I consult with the doctors on the new patients because some of them are tough. I am blown away that people go somewhere else first when it comes to back pain. I had an injection. I had an operation. I had uh, 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 some type of treatment. I did drugs. Chiropractic, most effective, least expensive treatment. Come here first. If it's not something we think we can help, we'll tell you. Say, listen, you know what? You're out of our ballpark. I think you need to go see a neurosurgeon. I had somebody come in the other day. After three or four adjustments, I said, we need an MRI. Did an MRI. Sure enough, three bulging discs, one of them ruptured. I said, you need to go see a neurosurgeon. I don't want to go see a neurosurgeon. I'm, I, I can't help you at this point anymore. You're probably going to need surgery. Then come back and we'll continue working with us. Sent him to a neurosurgeon friend of mine. He said, Joe, great call. We're going to do surgery on a guy and we're going to send him back to you for treatment. Perfect. We have a great reputation with most of the doctors in, in the country, actually. And so a lot of doctors know that we, we can co-manage the cases together. So if you're in pain, come see us. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, we would love to be your doctors. You can book an appointment right online, drjoe.com. It's all over. Book an appointment, set up a consultation. We try to make it as easy as possible for you. Or call us. Phone number's on the website. And we'll go ahead and set that up for you. We accept almost every insurance uh, car accidents, if you're ever in a car accident, if the car was damaged, folks, you got to come see us immediately. If the car is damaged, you, chances are you're damaged. I've never seen anyone not damaged if the car was damaged. And insurance companies will play every game they possibly can not to pay their bill. Your bill, which is technically their bill. Um, but you want to come see us right away so we can avoid all the pitfalls. I teach chiropractors, medical doctors, physical therapists, lawyers, how to build and develop a, a car accident case 
so you can avoid the pitfalls that the insurance company is going to throw out at you. Doctors get credit for their licenses when I teach these classes. There's no reason why you shouldn't be coming to the place that teaches the doctors how to deal with car accidents. So drjoe.com, we'd love to see you. Uh, normally, the first visit is about $720 if we do everything. For you, we've reduced it down to $299. It's less than half price. That's an examination, a consultation, x-rays, first chiropractic treatment, going over the x-rays, uh, a complete nutrition evaluation. Very, very thorough. We have patients come in all the time and say, I've been to other doctors. Nobody was this thorough. So if you want to book it, it's $299. We'd love to have you come in. Back to the topic. If you eat late at night, when you lay down, your stomach can push up against your diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm isn't able to drop down and breathe. That's how you breathe. Diaphragm drops down, you suck air in. Diaphragm moves up, you blow air out. So if you can't get the diaphragm moving because the stomach is in the way, what we need to do is sometimes physically move the stomach away from the diaphragm. Now, what causes the stomach to go out of, out of place many times is you're eating a big meal late at night. I suggest three or four hours before you go to bed, stop eating. If you can do that, you're probably going to feel great. You'll probably lose weight. And that belly fat, which we're talking about today, hopefully will start to shrink down. If you're eating refined carbohydrates like white bread, many times these things don't have any fiber in them. It can cause constipation. And constipation can cause the bloating of the gut. Meats, dairy products, zero fiber. You have to have fiber to push the colon along. It's how the colon works. And so if you're eating meat and dairy products, you're going to have a very slow process of that food moving out of your colon. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and we, there was a, 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 gosh, I can't remember the name of the book. It was a textbook on physiology in college. Great book. Number one book in the, in the country. And there was one chapter, and I, it dis discredited the book almost. It said there are people that don't have bowel movements for up to a year, and the only adverse side effect is weight gain. Strongly disagree with that statement. But yes, if your bowels aren't moving, you can get belly fat. So if you have constipation, it could be a pinched nerve in the low back. That nerve controls your colon and your sex organs and your bladder. It could be that you're on a low fiber diet. We got to get you on a high fiber diet, which is fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. We have a supplement. It's called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula. And I don't talk about it much, but it's amazing to get the bowels moving. And if you're a meat eater, and eat a lot of meat and dairy, you can have up to five, maybe 10 pounds of undigested meat laying in your colon, rotting away. And so I get people sometimes on a, the 21-day jumpstart weight loss program we have, uh, we get them on Dr. Joe's intestinal formula, and they say, Dr. Joe, I've lost 10 pounds in the first week or two. You're a miracle worker. No, I'm not. I just cleaned out your bowels. Now that, that weight loss is going to slow down because now you're actually burning fat to lose weight. You didn't just clean out the bowels with this undigested rotten meat in there. So uh, I do recommend that if you have constipation, come see us. We'll check the nerve supply in the low back. We'll see if your stomach is pushed up against your diaphragm. Uh, if you want to order the supplements, any of the supplements, Super Green, Essential Source, uh, Intestinal Formula, uh, probiotics are very good to help with weight loss in many cases. DrJoe.com, you can order it right online. Or you can come pick them up. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. If you come by, A, you can make an appointment to see us, and or B, you can just pick up the supplements and save shipping costs. And that... I'm fine not paying the post office. Doesn't matter to me. You're paying us to pay the post office. So if you, if you want to cut some costs out, we'd love to have you come in and pick them up. All our offices have their hours on the website. So if you go to the website, you'll see what hours the offices are open. Come on by, call us and make sure. We're always open though. And we'd love to have you come in. Diet soda can actually make you gain belly fat. If you think you're swapping out the sugar version for the calorie-free version, scientists say, it may not work. Aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener in many diet sodas, actually increases belly fat. Aspartame breaks down to three components, aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methyl esters. Don't worry about the chemistry. Aspartic acid is an excitotoxin to the brain. The brain fires faster than it's supposed to and can burn out your brain cells and can cause headaches. I cannot tell you how many patients over the years we've given them the best chiropractic care, in my opinion, in the world, and then we got to get them off the diet soda and their headaches go away. So of all the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, the one I want you to start with would be artificial sweetener. Just drop that out of your life. There's nothing good about it. And artificial sweetener many times makes you crave carbohydrates because your brain says, ooh, that tastes sweet. Let me release some insulin. Insulin goes into the blood and it's floating around going, I don't see any sugar. I got nothing to do. The body can crave more sugar. That's a simple way to put it. And then you start craving your carbohydrates. And studies have shown people that drink diet soda usually gain weight. So if you have to drink a soda, there are sodas sweetened with stevia. 
I'd much rather see you drink that. Uh, uh, Zevia is one brand. Z's, I think, is another one. But if you go to uh, the health food section of most stores, they'll have, or the soda section, hopefully they'll have some Stevia sweetened soda. That's not the bet. It's not amazing, but it's a great step down from your re- regular sodas. If you skip meals, you may eat too much. I've done this already. I've been f- forced to skip a meal for whatever reason. And next time I eat, I eat too much. So what I'll, another trick you can do is if you are forced to skip meals, have an extra dose of Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. I shake it up with coconut milk, almond milk, uh, frozen bananas, uh, make a smoothie out of it. And if you do that, many times that helps cre- stop you from eating too much food in the next round because, again, you're not hungry for nutrition. You're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. Eating these fat-free foods, not a good idea. To, in order for something to taste good without fat, they load it up with sugar. So you're thinking, I'm eating fat-free, I'm going to save calories, but you're eating a ton of sugar. Because when you put sugar in your body, uh, the sugar has to be converted into glucose if it's not glucose. And like white table sugar is half glucose, half fructose. The glucose gets converted into glycogen. The fructose gets converted into glycogen. In the process, your body produces uric acid. Uric acid gets in your joints and it hurts. Gout. You might know of uric acid for gout. And that's why when I have my patients come in, I try to get them off all their fructose and sugars because that prevents uric acid production, which can actually make the pain worse. So again, if we're giving you the best chiropractic treatment, pain management treatment in the world, and you're eating fructose, you can still build up uric acid. So don't do that. So uric acid can get in the body and it can hurt. Uric acid prevents the body from properly producing nitric oxide. Nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels. It's our number three most popular supplement, Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide. So if you uh, have high blood pressure, if you're getting older, I recommend taking Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide. But fructose, converting into glucose, prevents your body from properly producing the nitric oxide. Then what happens is it gets converted into glycogen. Glycogen is where we store our energy in our muscles. Once all the glycogen storage places are filled up, it converts into triglycerides, which then gets stored as fat. So if you're eating a lot of sugars and carbohydrates and you're not using it, burning it up, it's going to be converted into fat. So going fat-free is not a good idea. I don't recommend you eat a lot of fat. If you're eating fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, you're getting enough fat in your diet. Don't eat extra fat. I don't recommend even using oils if you can avoid them too. But the the fat-free stuff is loaded with sugars. Uh, If you smoke, please, folks, I I don't know what else to tell you. You need to stop. And I know it's hard. Go to a smoke cessation center. Uh, There's clinics you can go to. There's online government uh, programs you can use. Uh, I have to laugh that they still allow you to sell cigarettes, and then they have programs sponsored by the government to help you quit the cigarettes. makes no sense to me. Uh, If you're eating, uh, if you're stressed out, we kind of covered that a little bit. If you're stressed out, your body produces cortisol. Cortisol causes you to lay down fat. If your stomach is up against your diaphragm, that can make you hungry too. So here's the secret. Here's the thing about losing weight. Once again, get the bad food out of the house. If it's there, you're going to eat it. Unless you're special and you have some special, you know, magical powers. Bad food in the house, quick, easy, eat it. Not in the house, you're forced to eat other things. Have jars of pickles around the house. Grab a pickle. Because many times you're craving sugar. If you eat something salty, it reverses that. I'm salivating just thinking about pickles. So if you do want to make an appointment, folks, drjoe.com, I want you to do me a favor. Follow us on social media. My handle is at Dr. Joe Esposito. I need you to do this because we need you to spread the word. Uh, we have a group on Facebook called the Joe-It-Alls, the Joe It Alls. Become a member there. We give away stuff all the time to the Joe It Alls. And if you want to make an appointment, you can do it right online, drjoe.com. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on the WSB Radio app. It's a